Hello everybody, hello everybody. It's the Bad Enabler and I'm here with a TJ Maxx haul. Uh, all right, so I kind of promise you this is an anomaly because I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff. I've been downsizing, I've been, I've been decluttering, I've been everything, but you'll see what I, there's a, there's a strategy, there's a thought process but it's also just fun. I don't know. I don't know. It's just fun. Um, so here's TJ Maxx. Here's one bag and then the other bag's over there. So what I picked up for the most part is very, very needed and essential. So I went because I primarily was just going to look around. While I was there, I remember something that I needed that I was supposed to go there for, but that I actually forgot to go there for. So it's wonderful when you're walking around and you go, oh, finally, I remembered, I need the shower curtain liner. They did not have one that looked acceptable to me. They had one that I hate. I deplore and loathe a clear shower curtain liner. I don't know what your thoughts on it, but please let me know in the comments section down below. In terms of shower curtain liners, do you like ones that are colorful? Do you like ones that are clear? Do you like them with a the magnetic bottom? Do you like them without the magnetic bottom, but with the weights? So um, my preference is I want the, I want it to be solid white because I don't want to see through it. I love the blue color. I also saw the gray color, but the issue is even with the light blue, it makes the shower feel more cramped because that, when you add that, that any kind of, even a, a hue of pink or a hue of a light blue, it just makes it feel smaller in the shower and I hate feeling claustrophobic in the shower. I'm like, a shower is a small enough space as it is. Imagine though a shower the size of a bedroom with just like water flowing everywhere. That would be absolutely iconic. They should invent that. I bet you the Kardashians have that. I'm hashtag jealous. I digress already. But, so I had to get the white one um, and they did not have them in the regular section. They, what they had in the regular section was they had the clear one in the alternate section of TJ Maxx, they had the gray one. And then on the line, on the way to the register, which I knew I was scouring the line and I was looking left and right because I know they always put things that are really, really useful on the line on the way there so that you impulse buy it. And sure enough, they had it. And you know whose it is? Oh, it's not Martha Stewart. Oh, it is Martha Stewart's. I got scared for a second that this was not a Martha Stewart shower curtain liner. Whew. There you go. You get it, Martha Stewart. So heavyweight Kiva shower liner, 70 by 72. That's the regular, it has the weighted bottom, which I like. It's mildew resistant. The last, so the reason why I needed to get this one was because the last one that I purchased, and I don't even know what brand it was, it got kind of, it got those little black dots on it already. And I'm thinking, oh, that was quick. So I, but then again, I do take a lot of showers. So maybe it's just too moist in there. <sighs> moist, I hate that word. So uh, it was $7.99, decent deal. Hopefully it lasts, you know, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? It's like a cup of coffee. So um, so there's that. And then while I was perusing around in a different section, this, this is in the bath and body section. See the hint of color? It's really cute. And I know that you're thinking, wait, what? He didn't get the bath and body works with the body shop? Poofs. These just feel amazing. And the colors are all unique. So it says it's tie-dye poofs. And they actually are tie-dye because they were not any two that were identical. So they really tie-dye these. Skin softening sponges. It says the next generation of bath sponges are softer, more luxurious. Soft gauzy mesh offers moderate exfoliation for touchably soft skin. There's no exfoliation here. It's like there's zero exfoliation. I don't know why they even said that. Maybe because it's something you're putting against your skin. It was $4.99 for two, which is cheaper than buying one at Bath and Body Works. So I figured, you know what? I'll try them. I just like the colors, nice and bright and poppy. So, and the name of the company is Gal Pal. So. So there's that. And then I also picked up, <sighs> there was one left. I could not leave it there. The Skin Dope Josie Marin. They had one left. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I have a lot of these now because I picked up at least two. And they're the giant size of 3.4 ounces. But they're being discontinued. They're never gonna have them again. They last for 12 months after you open them. And I have been using it on the regular. So I'm going to continue using it and make sure that I continue using it and loving it because it's a step of my routine that I had been leaving out because I just, you know, you get used to what you get used to. And I was using it only for special occasions because it was so expensive. But now that I have it and now that it was affordable, 
I don't have to save it for special occasions. I could use it every day until it's done. So every day is a special occasion. And that's the way to live. So live as if every day is a special occasion. That is that. So that is my haul from TJ Maxx. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to recap I'm gonna recap by adding two. So if you saw the haul that was on the street, which I think was adorable because it poured, it poured as soon as I stopped filming. This is the rest of the stuff from that on the haul street. Well, this is the stuff from that on the haul street. So you see my bag is right here. I'm just gonna pull it out and give you a more thorough look at what I picked up. And let's do a smell of everything because I wasn't able to do a smell of everything on the street. So like I said, in that other haul, I picked up three of the spiced orange shower gels from the body shop. So here they are. And I'm going to, ah, did you hear it? Did you hear that? So I'm going to open up one of the spiced orange shower gels. It says orange, vanilla, and cinnamon, comforting and refreshing, and it's vegan. Wow, wow. It smells like cinnamon cloves. Cinnamon cloves. Not really orange, well, I guess orange, but not orange-orange. Like almost like a blood orange or um, a different kind of like a mandarin, a different, not, not a regular straight up orange. It's an exotic orange. So it's really, it's got this wonderful spice to it. It just reminds me of if you mixed Smoky Poppy with oranges. It's really wonderful. So it was $3.99, I picked up three of them. Absolutely love, so basically I got seriously three for the price of one, which is amazing. And I picked up one more of the Lush Lavender because I used one recently, um, and it's nine ninety nine. Cannot, cannot, cannot beat that at all. Iconic, iconic, iconic. If you haven't seen what the jar looks like for some reason, oh, here's what the jar looks like. It's a full body butter size, and it's cute. Um, so we got that, and then finally, last thing I picked up in this, ah, in this haul, I keep knocking stuff over. Now this I want to smell with you on camera because I didn't get a chance to smell it. It's the Argan Bomb in Vanilla Fig. $6.99. I'm so over the moon that I was able to, and I've been in many TJ Maxx's and have not seen this. I've only seen the regular Argan and I've only seen the peppermint bark. So to be able to find, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's vanilla with a hint of fig. It's the sweetest, most wonderful vanilla. Wow, it smells like a latte. Yeah, it smells really similar to a latte, more so than fig or vanilla. Oh, it smells like a French vanilla latte from Dunkin' Donuts. That's exactly what it smells like, actually. It's a French vanilla latte from Dunkin' Donuts. This is seriously amazing. I'm glad it's a good size jar. It's 3.5 ounces. This will last a very long time. This will, yeah, this is gonna last a long time. I, I'm i kind of glad they didn't have more of it because I don't need more of it because I have the other ones as well. But this scent is insanely good. So anyway, that's everything. That is my TJ Maxx haul. That's actually two TJ Maxx hauls in one. Um, so anyway, let me know what you've been finding. Let me know how you've been doing. I read the comments as they come in. Um, and if I'm on, if I, if I can, I respond, but if I can't, I don't, but I definitely, definitely read them all. So, um, enjoy, let me know how you've been doing and what you've been perusing and what you've been stocking up on. And I will see you all soon. If you like, by all means, give it a thumbs up. If you're a new baddie and feel free to subscribe. Hey baddies. Hey. And I will see you all soon. And XOXOXO and happy hauling and happy holidays. Mm -hmm. Bye. XOXO.